And welcome, Hoosier Nation, to another edition of the Hoosier Sound Off, recorded on the final day of 2018, Monday morning, December 31st. I am your host, Noah Freeman, and I am here for your quick roundup of IU Sports News. Over the last weekend of 2018, there were a lot of victories for a few of IU Sports programs. First, the men's wrestling team participated in the South Beach Duels over the weekend. While they did lose three matches to top 20 schools, they pulled out a victory over number 12, North Carolina. The weekend's results put the Hoosiers at 3-6 and six on the season thus far, but four of the six losses came to ranked teams. In addition, the Hoosiers in the NFL had a good final weekend of the NFL regular season. Cody Latimer had a career-high 72 receiving yards and a touchdown. Ian Thomas had 61 yards and a touchdown. Tevin Coleman had 53 yards from scrimmage with a touchdown. Jordan Howard rushed for 109 yards and two touchdowns. And Nate Sudfeld had his first passing touchdown that went for 22 yards. The Hoosiers should have seven players in the playoffs going forward. Speaking of weekend victories, the Lady Hoosiers won their first Big Ten game, and they won it on the road. They beat the Illinois Fighting Illini on Friday, 85-83 in overtime. The Hoosiers had four players in double figures and will face Penn State tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern in Bloomington. Penn State is currently 7-5. Indiana looks to start conference play at 2-0 for the first time since the 2010-2011 season. It would be the first time since the 2008 and 2009 season to start 2-0 with both a road and a home victory. Lastly, the men's basketball team will finally have a game this Thursday after their break. They will open the new year against Illinois at home, where the game will tip off at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern and will air on FS1. ESPN gives the Hoosiers an 88.5% chance to win, while Ken Palm gives the Hoosiers an 88% chance to win, predicting a score of 80-67. to The Hoosiers are currently number 24 at the time of this recording, but have been around number 25 throughout the week. We will have to see how the AP voters rank the Hoosiers after no game this week, but a few losses on the teams around Indiana will also play a role in their ranking this week. The game against Illinois won't help the Hoosiers much since Illinois have now fallen behind Rutgers and Ken Palm, but a win would put the Hoosiers at 3-0 in conference play, which would be a solid start regardless of the opponent. Remember to watch us live Tuesday evenings at 8.30 p.m. or subscribe to our podcast, The Hoosier Sound, wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like this transcript and links mentioned in today's show, head over to indianahq.com to check that out, in addition to all of their insightful articles. I will catch you next Friday, January 4th, for the next edition of The Hoosier Sound Off. But, as always, thank you for listening, Hoosier Nation, and we'll see you next time.